Hey guys, Oko here. Welcome back to our playthrough of The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. And here we are back at Laurelin Village, and I have another eight logs here to turn in, and that should be enough. We've already finished um, getting all the rice. So here we go. I think we can just park these anywhere. Well, 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 you got right to work. Gathering logs, I see, may I? Go ahead. Woohoo! I'll take good care of that. Okie do. Thanks for getting after those logs. That makes 16 in our collection. Now we have enough logs to build the repairs. Time to start rebuilding those buildings. First thing I've got to do is use those logs you collected to shore up the foundations under the buildings. So hold tight for just a bit, okay? I'll do the foundation work and check the state of the buildings while I'm at it. I'll be back before you know it. Okie do, sorry for the wait. The foundations are nice and solid. Now it's time to move on to repairing the buildings. There are five buildings that need fixing. Three of them are establishments, the inn, the restaurant, and the lucky treasure shop. And two of them are homes, the village, Head's house, and Armis's house. The repair process will depend on the buildings we're working on, so I'll explain once you decide where we start. Now we're getting to the real meat of the great Laurelin Village Revival. So, which building should we get to work on? Establishment? I don't know. Sure, an establishment. Which one? In I want to see the treasure shop, of course, because I'm greedy. I want to see what kind of stuff I can get. We're rebuilding the lucky treasure shop, are we? Oh. The lucky treasure shop is over there. It's a charming spot that beguiles travelers with a treasure... A treasure game that, rumor has it, no one ever loses. Mm. How about we head to the Lucky Treasure Shop so we can explain what we need to do to fix it up? Oh. Okie do, please follow me. Oh. Alright, here we are. Hmm. Once upon a time, a palm tree grew up through the building's second story roof. It used to be a bit of a landmark because of that, but now, well, the damage is worse than I thought. There has to be a central pillar. It's a crucial support for a building. I already used the logs you collected to shore up the foundation. Oh. Look at that house over there. What I'm thinking is we'll use a log from a palm tree as the central pillar for the lucky treasure shop too. But this building is big, so rather than connect the roof and floor, the palm tree log would go in the plant pot on the second floor and through the hole in the roof. Mm. It's easy enough to get a palm tree log from the palm trees growing around here, but how are we going to get the log into the plant pot and through the hole in the roof? It is quite the conundrum, is it not? So to make an axe, all you have to do is get a one-handed weapon and fuse it with a... Stone. Nope. Wrong button. So, let's see. Hopefully we can find a stone around here somewhere. Here's one. Mm, this Boko Reaper has already been fused. Uh, I might need to find a... Uh, I don't have a one-handed weapon. Good lord. All I need is like a torch or a or a soup spoon. <laughs> All right, we can just use the master sword. Whoops. I'm going all over town wasting so much time trying to find 
a one-handed weapon so we can make a an axe. That's just wasting time. So we'll just use the Master Sword even though it's not good for it. Oh, we're far away. No, I should have just cut a palm tree closer. Okay, forget it. That's what I should have done. I'm stupid. So, let's see if we can get this in here. We need it to go down the middle, huh? Well, if I can get up there, this shouldn't be a problem, actually. Let's just... Okay, what if we go up here, get some height? Yeah, there we go. So I'll go like... That. Oh, oh, I see. Whoops. There we go. Oh, it's perfect. I couldn't have found a better pillar to hold this place up myself. Just leave the rest to me. I'm on it. <laughs> Bolson. Da-da-da. Bolson. Woo-ah. Hoo-ha. Bolson. Da-da-da. Bolson. Sha-sha. Sha-sha. Ding. <gasps> Okie do, all done. Yes, it's perfecto. It's the biggest building in this village, so returning to its old former glory wasn't easy, but the owner is gonna love it. Whoa, 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 what exactly is going on here? I was sure the monsters had done my shop in. I heard the pirates were gone and came running. I can't believe I can open my shop again. I never thought this day would come. This place means everything to me. My old man, rest his soul, left it to me. Here, please. I have to thank you. Take this. Bomb flowers, always useful. I picked several of them while I was hiding out. I was planning to throw them at the pirates, but there's no reason for that now. Because of you, the lucky treasure shop is back in business. In fact, you don't have... You don't even need rupees. You can be broke and still come in and try your luck. Doors are open starting now. Hey, hey, this is no time for resting on laurels. There's work to do, and it ain't doing itself. Look, you and me, we're beasts of construction. We'll have this village put back together in no time. So, what should we do next? A home? I guess, can we just keep doing these? Let's do a home. We're rebuilding a home, are we? Well, which house would it be? The village head's house? Ooh, we're building the house for the head of the village, are we? I guess so. <laughs> the house is there. That there is where the village head and his family live. They've been letting me stay with them too. Ugh, it was so cozy. They even had a little something from Princess Zelda on display. Then along came those awful monsters. Mm. How about we head over there so I can explain what we need to do to fix the place up? Okie do, please follow me. Oh. Alright, here we are. Hmm. Central pillar is broken, so we have to repair it pronto. I already shored up the building's foundation using the logs you collected for me. So if we can place a log from a palm tree through the holes in the roof and floor, like I mentioned, that should do it. Oh. 
Make sure you pick a straight one. You and me, pal. Let's return those places to their former glory. How about this one? Right here! Oh, there's something sneaky up there. I gotta get rid of that first. Let's burn it. Uh, okay. So now we need to do that thing where we need to get a height. So maybe I'll put it right here. This might be too far away. Let's see if I can go over here. Looks a little far, doesn't it? I'm gonna have to go s up here, maybe. Uh oh, it's raining. Ah, oh, shoot! Hate the rain. Oh well, we got this. It's perfect. I couldn't have found a better pillar to hold this place up myself. There we are. <laughs> okay, do all done. It's all done. From here on out, I'll have a comfy place to sleep at night. Ooh, I thought I heard the sound of hammering coming from the house. It's exactly how it was before. Luckily, the house's main building went undamaged, but the detached hut where Bolson is staying was destroyed. I was so worried about finding a place for him to sleep, but not anymore. Sorry you have to go to the trouble of fixing up our house. Here, I'd like to give you something for the repairs. An armored porgy. <laughs> It's the tastiest fish you can catch around here. Grill it, stew it, whatever you like. It's always delicious. There was a picture from Princess Zelda on display in the in the detached house. Hot. Quick, let's make sure it's not damaged. Oh. Hey, hey, this is no time for resting on your laurels. A picture of Princess Zelda? Interesting, it's a heart with a bunch of fairies. You want to hear something pathetic? During the whole pirate raid, I was holed up in my house, hiding. After the evacuation, I'd stuck, I'd snuck back to grab a change of clothes. But, better, but before I knew it, there were pirates outside, so I had no choice but to hunker down and pray they didn't find me. If not for you, they probably wouldn't would have demolished my house with me in it. You saved my life and you helped me come to an, an important realization. Mm. An outfit isn't worth risking your life for, no matter how good it makes you your legs look. <laughs> Whatever. I guess this is supposed to be some sort of important picture. Let's see here. That might be a fairy f fountain that we can find somewhere. All right, let's do another one. Let's quickly get through these and fix the town. Another home. I want to fix the homes up for the people. Armis's house. Oh. Mm. <laughs> All right, here we are. The central pillar is broken, so we have to repair it pronto. It's the same old shebang. A palm tree. Yes. Okay. Oh. Let's 
Yeah, these are straight ones up here. Alright, we might be able to do it from up here, but I don't know. We're kind of far. Oh, we can! Ah, it's driving me nuts. Okay, hold on. It's not as easy as it seems. I know it seems like this would be an easy thing. It's rather challenging. Okay, that's fine. We just gotta nudge it in. There we are. Ooh, it's perfect. <laughs> Okie do, all done. Behold, what you see before you is the work of a true craftsman. My house is fixed. You really fixed it, thank you. I can finally get back to making my living. I'm really sorry I wasn't in any help. Please take this as a kind of an apology. 50 rupees. Now I can go fishing again. You know, I don't need, need very many fish to feed myself, so I share the extras I catch with other folks. I usually save them for the people here in the village. But I really owe you for fixing my house. If I have extras to share, I'll put them in front of my house. Please take whatever you need. Huh? Wow, thank you. Very generous. Mm. Uh, the inn and the restaurant. Let's do the inn. Oh. We're rebuilding the... We're rebuilding the inn. Mm. A great place to soothe your muscles. Alright, here we are. As you can see, the frame and the central pillar managed to hold up. It's fine, but if you look inside, you'll see there's a puddle of rainwater. Getting rid of the water won't be difficult, but that junk is in there is a hazard and will make it impossible for me to work. I don't want to damage the frame, since we're lucky it's intact, but I'm not sure how to get rid of the debris. Mm -hmm. Once all the junk is gone, I'll start the rebuilding work right away. It'll look incredible. Can we get in this way? No. So we just gotta get the stuff out? Hold on. That's gone. What? That's gone. And then just this? So that's not very much. Wait, there's some things down there. I think we might need to get those. Yeah. Come on, you. Alright, now I just gotta get rid of the board that I'm standing on, I think. So we'll just... We'll just have to stand up here. Let's see, how'd that do? Hmm. Well, well, I'm betting someone got rid of all that junk. That someone is you, by the way. Just leave the rest to me, I'm on it. <laughs> Bolson, da da da. Huh? 
Okie do, well done. Restored to its former glory, some of my finest work, if I do say so myself. The owner can move back in. What's going on? I thought the pirates destroyed my place. But here it is, good as new. You two rebuilt it, didn't you? I was hiding out in the Gerudo region in the southwest, but it's just sand as far as the eye can see. I miss the ocean so much, I had to come back, and then I found this. I can't believe my inn is all fixed up. I'm stunned. Oh, I'm sorry, I really must give you a thank you gift. Volk fruit. <laughs> I brought this back as a little treat for everyone. Please come on by and enjoy our famous salt spa. No time to waste. The inn is open for business as of today. She's happy. Oh. This guy is a beast in construction. And I guess there's one more thing to make, right? The restaurant. Oh. The restaurant is over there. Azure Bay is known for its incredible cuisine. Mm. Oh. All right, here we are. Hmm. The central pillar is broken, so we have to repair it pronto. I already shored up the building's foundation using the logs you collected for me. So if we can place a log from a pond tree through the hole in the roof and floor, like I mentioned, it's just one of those. Oh. <laughs> Looks like we also have to clear this. More junk to get out of the way. Oh, we can do the one that we had from before. <laughs> that we abandoned. Ah, here we go. Now it's actually going to be useful. Now it's in a more useful spot. So we're going to climb up here and then put it in. Oh, come on. Hmm, strange how it does that. It looked like it's right over. There we go. Perfect. I couldn't have placed a better pillar. <laughs> Bolson, da da da, Bolson, sha 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 ding. <laughs> Okie do, well done. Get a load of my handiwork. Talk about a perfect restoration job. The old building skills are still sharp as nails, baby. Now all we have to do is wait for the owner to return and... Hey, am I dreaming? Wow, but it was all broken before. Look, Zuta, our house, it's all better now. I just came back to check on my restaurant and my house. I was so worried about them. Was, was it you? Did you fix them? Thank you so much. Please, I want you to have this. Tough seafood fried rice. Of all the dishes we serve at our restaurant, this is the one I'm most proud of. Please stop by anytime you're hungry. I'll treat you to meals, the likes of which you've never tasted before. As of now, Azur Bay is open for business. Bolson, is it true? It's nice to make everyone so happy around here. You bet it is. Every last building in the village is good as new. Incredible. How can I ever thank you? And to think, you restored the village so quickly. A feast is most certainly in order tonight. Did you hear that? A feast. He says, a feast is in order. Oh dear. You think I should change my outfit? The day the pirates attacked and overran the village, I was desperate to get everyone to safety. Before I knew it, our beloved home was gone. 
After everyone fled, the only sound coming from Laurelin Village was the sound of monsters. I never thought, never dared dream, I'd live to see the day we could all laugh together again like this. This moment right now, it's all thanks to you. Of course, I am extremely grateful to Bolson as well. No, no, there's no need to thank me. After all, when I first drifted into this village, you all welcomed me with open arms, didn't you? The work I did here, it's just my way of saying thank you. Bolson, thank you. This village owes you a debt. In fact, I think it's safe to say that you are this village's savior. Now, I talked about this with the rest of the folks around here. And we do not have enough money or treasure to repay you for saving our home. But the village, but the treasure we do have, well, it's this village and everyone in it. So from now on, we'll do everything we can to share our hospitality with you. For the village's savior, I'll provide a bed for free anytime. You are also welcome to eat at the restaurant as much as you like, free of charge, of course. The village's savior may not need to test his luck, but I'm sure it'd be fun to play a treasure chest game once in a while. Please feel free to take anything you find in the village. Ooh, I'm awash in emotions. I, I can't hold back anymore. Zuta, Kinov. Look lively. It's time for the... Mm -hmm. Laurelin Revival da da dance That was a very interesting dance. Alright, so there we go. Laurelin Village is back to its previous glory. So now we can just quickly check out each of the places. You can stay here for free. Thank you. I'm not going to stay there right now. So this was that game. I wonder how this game works. Bacoblin. Fire like stone. Blue maned lanel mace horn. Where do you think you're going? Village savior or not, you gotta follow the rules like everyone else. You're him, aren't you? The kid who sent the pirates packing. The kid who rebuilt the village, including the humble establishment. I'd given up, you know. I thought this town was history. Glad you proved me wrong. But enough sappy stuff. This is the lucky treasure shop where I run what you'd call a game of luck. See those treasure chests? Pick any one of them and open it. Don't be shy. Crack it open. Red rupee. Ooh. Come here, kid. Let's see it. Red. So that means... You get the prize on the right, lucky man. You must be pretty happy scoring that prize for free. If you'd like it, delivered to your place of residence. Too bad, I don't do that. Oop, also, I'll take that rupee back. It's not for you to keep. <laughs> so that's the game. Pick a chest and win a prize. All. There is one catch. I have to cap how much you pay, or I'd go bankrupt. Wouldn't want to shut me down right after you put me back in business, would you? Didn't think so. Come back later if you want another round. Alright, so there we go. We got this blue maned uh, Lionel Mace Horn. Yeah, that, that's another Lionel part, which we can fuse with something to make a weapon, which we need to do for another quest. Yeah. It's a horn. Attach it to a weapon. Yeah, okay, cool. So we got the materials we need to fulfill another quest, and... I don't really want this other stuff. I don't really know what this game is all about. I, I don't know how... how like maybe you can make money doing this or something. It's a gambling, right? But I don't know. I'm just going to take my little prize there and, and leave. Because that was actually really useful. That Lionel horn will be useful for us. 
So that's a win, so let's just leave over ahead. I guess there's no shop. I thought there would be like a little store or something, but I guess it's just the restaurant and the inn. So I guess that's it, guys. Uh, for Laureland Village, at least. Who's this? Looks like it's a new a newbie arriving. There's some new people. What can I do? I heard about you. You're him, right? The person who helped Bolson rebuild the village. Thank you so much. My father, Rizel, speaks very highly of you. You know, I was living with my husband in Hateno Village until not too long. Yeah, I could tell. When we heard those monsters occupying the village were, dr were driven out, we decided to come and look around for ourselves. They're tourists. Overall, I'd say it looks mostly as it did before. I was born and raised here, so I really appreciate all you've done for this village. Now I'd like to do my part to help get things going again in Laureland Village. Problem is, I'm so hungry that I can't think of ideas. Only food, like one meal that I ate long ago. Hylian rice cooked with Goron spice and porgy. Mmm. Ugh, thinking about it just makes me hungrier. With a few forkfuls of that in my stomach, I'd have the brain power to come up with an idea for livening up the village. But where am I going to find that meal? I can make that. I have all those ingredients. But I don't think we'll be able to do it in the rain. I'll just... Oh, there's someone here who wants something done, too. I guess it sank. Hey, it's the guy who fixed our house. After the pirates tore down our house, we had to go live in a tent. It was actually kind of fun, like having a secret base, but I'm way happier now we're back home. You know, mister, everyone's calling you the savior of our village. Thanks for putting everything back how it used to be. Sorry, mister, but I can't play right now. I gotta find my dad's blue shirt. What? Blue shirt? It's dad's favorite thing. He loves it so much he put it in an iron chest so nobody would take it. But I checked everywhere and I couldn't find the chest. I took those I think those pirates sank it. So it's probably in the bay since it's too heavy to float away. Dad's pretending like he doesn't mind but I bet he's really sad it's gone. I gotta get it back. Rain won't stop me. Hmm. It's out there somewhere, huh? Well, is this it? It's probably way further out, but let's just check a few of these chests. There's quite a few out there, actually. Blue rupee, that's good. Oops, darn it. That's got to be the one way out there way out there so maybe that's what the log is for whoops I gotta make a boat or something yeah these are teases these blue rupees Alright, that's probably going to be good. Come on, yes. This is it. I know it. Um, now where am I going to put it? Let's see, let's... Yeah. Get out of my way. Get out of my way! I'm going over here. Okay, a blue shirt. I'm getting excited. I think I might know what this is. It couldn't be, though. Oh my god, that is what I was expecting from Wind Waker. I... I was thinking blue shirt. I wonder if it's that lobster shirt. And there you go. It is. <laughs> Island lobster shirt. I love it. So we got two things from Wind Waker. We got that and the tunic of wind. These are from... The wow. we got to put that on. That is adorable. I want to go over here and see what the guys are talking about. I'm keeping this. I don't want to talk to that kid. He might say, he said it's for his dad. I don't want to give it up. <laughs> so 
So I think these are porgies that are in the water. Well, I've seen some of them floating around or swimming around, but we already got a few from that guy. And it's sunny now, so we should be able to cook. Do they have another quest for us? Yes? Holy smokes. A new attraction, eh? Uh. Hey now, what's on your mind? You're thinking about teaming up with your pal Bolson again, aren't you? I'm not surprised. Our chemistry is out of this world, yeah? Funny thing is, I was just talking to the mayor about creating some kind of new attraction in Laurelin. Yes, I'd like it to be some kind of entertainment, something everyone could really get behind and enjoy. You've traveled all over the place, haven't you? Any marvelous idea you'd care to share? Open a floating hotel? Offer underwater tours? Host a water rally? I don't know. They already have an inn, so they don't really need a hotel. I guess underwater tours could be good if they know about the marine life around here. Host a water rally. I'm going to go with this one, I guess. I like it. Sounds dreamy. It sounds nice, yes, but breathing would be a problem still. Some kind of water-related entertainment would be nice. The water rally. Host a water rally. On the water. Clever. Very clever. Don't you think? Hmm. Well, it would be a brand new form of water-related amusement. That could do the trick. Yes, in fact, I think that's it. I seem to recall Hudson saying something about... Inviting some hotshot professional racers to help develop some new vehicle. If we could work with them. Hudson, do you mean the fellow from that Terrytown place in northeastern Akala? I'd love to invite the racers here once they finish their work there. Though I do wonder if real professional racers will be willing to come to a place like this. Well, I guess it's going to be up to us to talk to them. And find out if they'd be willing to come. There's a lot more quests here than I was expecting. Yeah, we're going to make that stew for her. Yeah, I'm just checking all the places, making sure there's no more quests. Oh, so here's the pot. Okay, so we need... So we need, here it is, Hylian Rice, Goron Spice, and Fish. We want Fish. Armored Porgy, I think, or Mighty Porgy. Which Porgy do we use? Uh-oh. Let's try this one. Mighty Seafood Curry. Let's see if that did the trick. That intoxicating smell, is that? Yup, seafood curry. Ah, this smell. This is the dish I've been dreaming of. You made it for me? Thank you so much. And now I eat. Slurp, slurp, that spicy flavor balanced with a strong note of umami. It's just too delicious. Ah, so satisfying at last. I can start thinking of ways to draw in visitors. Let's see. Wait, oh no. Hot, hot. The Goron spice is burning me up. I can't focus when my whole body's on fire. What do I do? I need a gust of wind to cool me down. Ah, much better. Now I'm nice and cool. Wait a sec. I, I got an idea. A flag. We can make a flag as a symbol for the vi village. That'll help draw in visitors and liven up the community. Time to start working on the design. Okay, okay. This here, that there, piece of cake. A satisfactory job, if I do say so myself. Thanks. Really, I couldn't have dreamed up such a great idea without your help. Now... I think I'll go liven up Laurel and Village with a new flag. Here, it's the fabric I used for the flag. Maybe you'll find some other use for it. Laurel and Village fabric. Tough fabric. <laughs> Bearing the Laurel and Village insignia. If you go to Hateno Village's dye shop, yep, I know, we can make, we can use that fabric to make a new paraglider. So we're wearing his dad's shirt. Where's that iron chest with dad's blue shirt? 
It's heavy, so if it sank, it's in the base somewhere. Dad's pretending like he doesn't mind. I gotta get it back. Wait a minute. That blue shirt smells like my dad. That's my dad's shirt. Where'd you find it, mister? And can you take it off, please? My dad needs it back. Oh, really? Hopefully they give it to me. Anyway, at least we wore it. So there it is. Let's remove it and just see if we get it back. Yay, you took off my dad's blue shirt. Dad loved that shirt. He'll be so glad to have it back. Here you go. Thank you, mister. I gotta go tell my dad. Dad! This guy found your shirt, Dad. It smells like you. <laughs> so that's what you two were doing on the beach all day, looking for this. I thought you were out playing. Gosh, thanks for finding this, guys. And you, saving villages, finding lost items. What can't you do? My trusty blue shirt. When I was a young man, I used to wear it all the time. But I haven't put it on since the boy's mom started picking out my clothes. Seems a shame to keep that beauty in a moldy old chest, though. Say, would you want it? Absolutely. Yes, we definitely want it. Why? But, Dad, weren't you sad about your shirt? Well, yeah, the one I'm wearing, I was eating soup, and I got a big stain on it. I thought it was ruined. But then Mommy got rid of the stain, so it's good as new. Oh, so all this time we were worried about the wrong shirt. Wrong shirt, wrong shirt! Afraid so, kiddo, but I'm grateful you did all that for your old man. Honestly, I can't believe how fast you two are growing up. You make your dad proud, you know that? Very, very proud. Well, they're a very nice family. There we are. So, let's look around a little bit more. We've done that. We looked in here. There's no quest, but... We didn't check out the fish guy, the fisherman. This is a uh, place for people. To, well, I guess that's where he lives. I'll take these weapons and this chest. I thought that guy was going to be around here, but I don't see him. The fisherman. Oh, maybe this is him? My only way to trade. Ugh, without the boat, I guess I'm just stuck. Oh, you're Link. Well, here you are, our hero. I returned to my village when I heard that the pirates disappeared. Who'd think I'd bump into you here? Well, unfortunately, I don't really have time to chat. The thing is, my boat's gone. And with it, how I get my trading done? I don't know where it's gotten to. All the boats in the village are gone too, so I can't even find a replacement for it. I'm sure that because of the mayhem the monsters caused, they all got washed out to sea. Things that float away from our village often wash up on Tonoko, an island off the, co the eastern coast. Maybe they're there. Of course, Tonoko Island is way out to sea, and I don't have a boat to get a boat. Seems like I'm stuck, then I'll need to... I'll never be able to reopen my shop. I sell some things you can find only here and my customers are eager to see me get my shop up and running again i just need to get my hands on a boat that's all okay well i'm actually planning on going to the island it's over here is what i think he's talking about yeah toronto beach is that what he said or did he say tonoko Well, maybe he Tonoko. I don't know. Maybe he said over. Maybe he meant over here or something. I'm gonna have to figure that one out. But I think what we'll do is we'll uh, we'll see if we can find a boat and we'll just bring it back to complete that quest. I'm not gonna complete that one right now. But at least we have it activated, and I guess that that's the last quest here. I don't see anybody else. Let me just take one last little look up here. Yeah, I'm going to put my shirt back on, too. We'll have to see if we can upgrade that with the fairy, but it might just be a cosmetic piece, but it's kind of cool nonetheless. It's adorable. Love having the different uh, outfits from the past games. It's a lot of fun. All right, so that's Laurel and Village, guys. There you go. Um, it's not enough for a full episode, I think, so there's still some time to do some running around Hyrule and take care of some other things, but we will be back here. Because I do want to help that guy and see what kind of things he sells. 
I don't know, there might be some other things going on around here that we missed. But if we did, we'll try and finish those as well. Alright, so here we are at Jayakum Shrine. It's a little too bad it's so hard to see because I kind of wanted to take a look at the area. But basically, here's a little foresty area that we've never really explored. We've kind of bypassed it a lot. We're way down here, just east of Lake Hylia. And sort of around these mountains. But yeah, um, I'm going to head right down here. Just jump down the cliff and head right down here and we'll find a little area that we... It'll be important for us. So, let's see. There's a Korok thing here. I guess. Oh, I guess one of those ones. Well, forget it. It's raining, so I'm not even going to attempt it. So, there's a giant statue here. It's not quite what I was expecting. Um, but I guess inside. Yes, inside here. Wow, it's like a giant head. Here's another fairy fountain. Let's talk to this one. The Spring of Courage. Ah! Devout swordsman who offers his prayers. Seek the golden spirit Faroche, who loses lightning as she dances across the heavens. We gotta get a Faroche's claw. Yeah, I'll take care of it. We don't we basically it's the same thing like what we did with um I can't even remember his name. Oh, Dinral. Yeah, Dinral Dragon. We just have to find Feroche. <coughs> yeah, anyway. I just wanted to activate that one because we hadn't activated it yet. And there's another one. There's, there's two. There's three in total, and we've only done one. So there's the second one. We'll work on that one, and we'll just quickly head to the third one now as well. Before I leave, I also want to just take a look at the this amazing cave that we just came out of. This giant mouth of this monster looks awesome. I wish it was daylight. It's too bad it's raining. But hopefully next time we come here, when we get the ferocious claw, we'll be able to see this a little bit better. Alright, this one I remember seeing before. Ooh, all kinds of good stuff here. So right behind this guy at the uh, tower here. I remember this. I, th I thought that we had been here, but I guess... Maybe we saw the... F maybe I saw it, but then didn't actually talk. But here's another one. A spring of wisdom right here. Seek the blue spirit, Nadra, who chills the air around her as she dances across the heavens. We need a Nadra's Claw. I'll take care of it. Please, I beg this of you. So there we are. Two more dragons for us to hunt down. So that's good. Should have started those two quests a long time ago, but that's alright. And we do have some parts from the dragons, including some like scales and stuff. But I guess we never went for those claws. I didn't think to do that. Where is all the stuff? We got a ferocious scale. I guess that's the only kind of <laughs> dragon item I have, I guess. But we need the claw, so we'll look for that. Okay, so we're sort of here, heading towards this guy. It's our friend who was fighting mobs of monsters. We're going to catch up with him and help him out. I forget his name, but there's the guy that we originally met at the castle. But let's help him with another f 
fight here. He seemed to really appreciate it the last time, so we're happy to help. Yeah, I'm getting a little off. I shouldn't be actually going down this way. Hold on. We want to stay up here. Alright, let's head towards the fire. So here's our friends. Let's yeah, looks like this is their little camp. It would be nice if we could make a day, and let's see. Oh my gosh, they haven't even moved. Almost time. Stay on on focus? Well, if it isn't Link. You came to our aid again. I'm so happy and also incredibly grateful. As you can see, we're in the middle we're in the midst of preparing to attack the monsters who've dug in up ahead. They must be wiped out. Just like last time, we'll approach the fiend's stronghold first, then launch our attack. If you're so inclined, Link, perhaps we can fight together once again and drive out those hideous monsters. Sounds good. Let's go, boys. Let's make sure. Let's try not to get kicked off. Yeah, all right. Let's go after these big guys. You know, I don't think I have a picture of this white one. Oh my god, okay, well, we gotta eat something here. I do have my attack up thing. I should probably eat this. Aw, oh, man! This is tough. It's tough staying on the bridge. Here's our silver bokoblin. Alright, so let's go for... This? Let's try to stay in the middle. Don't kick me. Okay, we're doing good. We're doing good. Yikes. Something strong. Let's go with this. And I'm gonna eat something just so I don't die. 
die. Silver Bacoblin. Yeah, we got a picture of this guy. So is that it? I would have liked his parts. But oh well. We won. Everyone fought so bravely. Thank you for the help, Link. If you don't mind, can I have a moment of your time? I can't thank you enough for doing so much on our behalf. Sometimes it feels like you're the real monster control crew. I am sorry if this has been a burden for you. Here, please take this token of my appreciation for everything you've done. Silver Rupee. I'm thinking of giving the team a bit of a break. The Blood Moon, I'm sure you've noticed it. When the sky turns crimson, the monsters rise up from the depths of the underworld. We should all rest when we can, so we have the energy to fight these endless battles. Link, if you were by our side, I'm sure we'd be safe, but I probably shouldn't burden you like that. With that, it's time for me to go. I hope we meet on the battlefield again someday. May the goddess Hylia always protect you, brave swordsman. Alright, there we go. So hopefully we can collect some of these parts now. The ones that remained on the bridge, that is. Let's see. What do we got here? Take a picture of some of the stuff. Got some guts. Take their meat. Alright, so I guess that's everything. Um, so there was one other thing I wanted to take care of in here in Akala. Um, now that we got some Lionel parts, we haven't actually fought a Lionel yet, but... We've uh, attained some Lionel parts for different reasons. So I think I'll take care of that one that someone was looking for a weapon that w was made with a Lionel part. This one. Yeah. So let's go there. Alright, so we're pretty close to the Akala Research Laboratory in the northeastern corner of the world. And this is where the East Akala Stable is. And I don't remember who it was. Somebody around here wanted to see a weapon made out of a Lionel part. Was it him? Yikes, it's coming down. Strongs in the world. This is Chabi. Is what we're looking for. Okay, we're fine. <laughs> Alright, so who was it? Was it you? Yes, Chavi, here you are. Yeah. So, how's it going? Made any new weapons lately? Yes, we made lots, actually. Oh, we need a horn? Wait a minute. Okay, no, that's alright. I think it's a Lionel horn? Okay, a weapon. Wait. Wait, what is... I gotta just double check. Maybe with the Lionel Horn. Well, I don't know if ours are horns. I hope they are. Let's see. Yeah, they are. These are horns. So, I have a blue-maned Lionel Mace Horn and a white-maned. I'm going to save the white one. It's more stronger. So, we'll do this one. So, we'll take this one out. And I just picked up some weapons at the last place we were at. A whole bunch here.
All right, so there we go. Now let's talk to her. Hey, that weapon you're holding. Let me see it. That's no doubt about it. That's a weapon made with Lionel horn. And it's the horn of a blue maned Lionel. How'd you manage that? Nice and hard, too. You could shatter anything with this baby. That settles it. This is the strongest weapon in the world. I'm honored that I got to see such a stunning weapon up close. Here, it's the least I owe you. Thank you, Silver Rupee. Then again, the world's a big place. Who knows? Maybe a stronger weapon is out there somewhere. Someday I'll return the favor and show you a weapon of my own making. Oh, we gotta unequip it though. For now. Yeah, we're alright. <laughs> alright, so there's not much else we can really do in this episode. Um, let me just take a look here at the map. Whoops. Wrong way. Yeah, I'm gonna just head up here. I'm gonna jump off. We'll head up the mountain here and jump off, and we'll head to this area and see if we can find a shrine to finish the episode on. We can even put, I don't, you know what? I didn't show this in like a previous episode, that went, in the episode that we got it, but we can actually put this on, which is lightning proof. So here, I just want to see if the lightning will hit us. We're lightning proof. So there it is. It did nothing, right? Cool. Yeah, so that's a cool helm. I want to see one more time. Come and get me, boys. <laughs> we fried a bunch of wolves. Serves them right. They're coming to get me. Alright, enough playing around. Let's head down here. So it's not out in the open or I would have gotten it already, but there's got to be a cave around here that we're going to be able to go into. Oh, there it is. It was just out in the open. I'm surprised I didn't see it. But it's just hanging out here on the beach, right here. I'll show you guys on the map where we are. Rossi Walk. So there we are. No, I was way off I th when I had it here. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there's one of the labyrinths. is way over there. You can see it. You can actually see the shrine from here, actually. So let's see what this is. Flotational brilliance. Flotational brilliance. All right, let's see what we got. So we have another one of these balls. Um, I wonder if maybe I would, maybe I wasn't supposed to. Let's see here. No. Hmm. Maybe I wasn't supposed to lower that yet. <laughs> Just thinking. Hold on. Maybe. Darn it. Yeah, I kind of wish I had put the ball underneath first. Hmm. 
So that brings that up to there. Oops. So there we go. That's all we had to do. Now we have... This shouldn't be a problem if I just put the ball... Oh! Gimme. Gotta go under. Now we're up here. I better take that ball with me just in case. Whoa, don't fall down. Yikes. <laughs> I almost went to a bad place. Oh, we didn't need to bring it, but whatever. Now we got to make a little boat to get across. This shouldn't be too bad. Actually, uh, maybe I can still use it. Even though it might actually help. Having three. Three might be good. Or maybe not. Maybe I think I should just stick with two. Let me just see here. I'm thinking something like this. I could probably get on that. I don't know. No, I guess we do need three. Hold on. I think we do need that third. Like that, and then the fan to get us across. Okay, but I have to get on there too, so let's make sure that we can do that. Oh, good. All right, so I got um, whatever. It's this. So that's f oh, look at that. There's a thing there. Oh, no, 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 no. We gotta get that. Darn it. Hold on. Oh, yes. We got it. Whoops. Oh, I didn't need to do that. But. Okay. I just wanted to make sure we got that. And we're just about there. So what do we got here? There's some kind of puzzle here, huh? Oh, that's it. Just needed to weigh it down. All right, there we go, guys. Another little shrine done up here in the little secret, little quiet little area of Hyrule. In the northeastern corner. All right, the thunderstorm is gone, and we have another quest completed. Yeah, there's a little peek at the labyrinth during the day that we'll have a chance to investigate one of these days. <laughs> Saving that. That's actually coming up. We're going to be doing those labyrinths pretty soon. Oh, looks like there is a cave around here.
So we'll just investigate this cave, and then that'll be the end of the episode. I, I wasn't even going to do this. Oops. Forget it. I don't even need those. Ah, really? That's not... Okay, that's interesting. Mm, whatever. Yeah, I should have this equipped. All right, just a couple of horror ones. They're not so bad. Ah, stupid cave. All right. Mm, so that was <laughs> that was the way I came from. I went the wrong way. I got turned around in that fight. So there's a water way to go. And then there's this way. Let's check this way first. More horribles. Do I have you? Yep. That's all that was over there. There's a few little good things. Hold on a second. Thank <laughs> you. 
Gosh, this is way bigger than I thought, this cave. Oh, it's a Hynex. Shrine? Oh! Uh-oh. I shouldn't have come this way because I don't want to go to this yet. Okay, I'm going back. Yeah, we're going to go back and we're going to remember this place, you guys. Look, there's a Hynex here. And if we keep going forward, this we can probably get into the labyrinth by going using Ascend. But that's not what I'm here to do. So I'm going to just remember this place and come back. I'm going to just look for the frog a little bit and then we're going to leave and we're going to end this episode. Okay, so we, that's that way. We're going to have to try and remember this. Yeah, here's the waterway. There's fairies here. I'm going to try and get them. So, while these things are floating around, I'll look around the room. It looks like it's a dead end, so... Hmm. There might be uh, a frog past the Hynex. I'm just going to get this fairy, and then this is where we're going to, I think, end things. Just wait for it to come down. Here it comes. No? Come on, there we go. Make sure there's nowhere else to go. So, yeah. Interesting to give us fairies, I think, before the labyrinth. It's probably a way of letting us know there's challenges ahead. Well, too bad. Don't know if there's a frog here or not. We're not going to find out. Not. Yeah, so there you go, guys. So that's going to be everything for now. So it's a little preview of sort of this northeastern area. But yeah, the labyrinth will come later. All right, but that's going to be everything for today. Uh, in the next episode, I think we're going to be heading down the coast here. And I think I kind of... I'm thinking of uh, yeah, investigating this area. I'm checking out these islands. One of them is Tingle Island, yeah. And there is a shrine around here we can get to. But I kind of want to play around these islands and see what they've done to the islands there. Those... Amazing islands on the east coast in this game. Tears yeah, because in uh oh. What is that? Oh, it's one of those. What? My weapon didn't work. There we go. Yeah, so we'll continue down the uh, eastern coast and investigate more of the eastern part of Hyrule there and check out those islands and one more shrine on the east. That'll all be in the next episode, right? But that's going to be everything for today, so thank you everybody for watching my episode. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel by clicking on the link below. I'm Oko, and I'll see you guys all on the next episode of our playthrough of The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom.
Thanks for watching, everybody. Have a great day. Bye for now.